Hi, it's Aki from Songs I Teach. Today I'm going to show you how to play Hallelujah as played by Jeff Buckley. Now this song will require you to use your fingers to pick the notes. So let's get right to it. Have your first three fingers on the first three strings. This is what I will call attack position. In other words, each finger is assigned to a string. So whenever you need to play the third string, you just activate your index finger. Whenever you need the second string, activate the middle finger. Third finger for the first string. Now the thumb will cover all the bass notes, so it has kind of like triple duty. So if it's a six string chord, your thumb will be on the six string. If it's a five string, and so on. So I'll grab a G chord right here, and I'll show you what the pattern sounds like. Four, five, six. What I was doing was activating thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, okay? So you go ascending in pitch and then descending. Just go up and down, up and down, okay? Now, important thing to consider when doing this technique is watch your wrist and make sure it doesn't move. What I mean is this, people have a tendency to play like this, kind of a plucking motion, right? See how I do that? Even a, a less exaggerated version would look like this, where uh, I look at a student's wrist and it's kind of jumpy as they play their note. So this is kind of a plucking motion that we want to avoid. Instead, keep your wrist stationary at all times and let the finger do the work. Notice nothing is moving except my finger. Uh, speaking of the finger, Try to make your movement so that it goes into the hand like so, like this. That's the full range of motion. So it's almost kind of like high-fiving your palm of your hand, right? That's your full range of motion. Try to exercise that full range of motion to get the most out of it. So when you want to play a little bit louder or fuller, you swing all the way through into your hand, right? Here's an example. Follow through. This song is in 6-8, which means there's six pulse of eighth notes. So notice I'm playing six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's practice it on a G chord very, very slowly. Four, five, six. Very good. Let's try it on an E minor. So by the nature of how we strum uh, these notes, we actually don't need to have our fingers on there, right? Because the fifth string and fourth string are not being played. Let's give it a shot on the E minor. Four, five, six. Thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb, index. Let's continue on to a five string chord like C. Now the thumb will be on uh, the fifth string due to the fact that the bass note is on the fifth string. The first three fingers will continue to be on the attack position. Let's give it a shot. Four, five, six. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Last but not least, let's try it on D chord, a fourth string chord. So uh, because it's a fourth string chord, we will finally play all of the notes that are required of that chord. Here we go. Four, five, six. Let's take a look at the music. The intro is exactly the same as the very first line of the verse. So we'll just 
start right on the burgers. Okay, it starts off easy enough. G to E minor, G to E minor. Be sure to keep your first finger stationary as you switch between those two chords. Four, five, six. E minor, keep your first finger down. Switch. Next line. Let's give it a shot. Four, five, six. The next line features two chords in one measure, the C and the D. Now this is the only time in the song it happens. When we encounter this measure, what we're going to simply do is play the first three notes of C, then immediately switch to D and play the first three notes of D. So let me show you how that line sounds like. Four, five, six. One more line to go for the verse. We're gonna go from D to B7 over D sharp. This is a really beautiful movement. Now, B7 over D sharp is simply a variation on a B7 chord. So you grab a full-blown B7 and make it start on D sharp, which is the fourth string. Okay? So if you like, you can take out the middle finger uh, to avoid redundancy, if you wish. So D, B7 over D sharp, then to E minor. This is how it sounds like. Four, five, six. So let me play you the entire verse now. Four, five, six. Moving on to the chorus, 
If you got through the verse, of course, it's going to be a piece of cake. Let's take a look at the two lines. Here we go. Four, five, six. It stays on the C chord again. Jump to E minor. To a C chord. G. D. Last but not least, before we play along with Jeff Buckley, we need to fasten our capo on the 6th fret. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you play Hallelujah.